expect depleted shelves, delays, and other concerns well into 2022. Nowadays, practically every store in America has empty shelves. Across the country, shortages of everything from toilet paper to poultry are emerging. Need a book, bike, folding bed, or boat? It may take weeks or months to get your hands on it. Considering the U.S. has been coping with the COVID-19 pandemic for 19 months, this may seem odd to some. Shouldn't the pandemic's initial pressure on supply chains have been worked out by now? I believe there are four fundamental, and interconnected, reasons for the persistent shortage. Sadly, many won't be corrected before the holidays. 1. There is a spike in consumer demand. Companies were already preparing for a prolonged recession, and the typical drop in consumer demand, when the pandemic first hit American shores in March 2020. Supplier orders were cancelled by retailers and automakers, many of whom were forced to close owing to lockdowns. It was logical. By April, the jobless rate had risen to 14.8%, the highest level since 1948, according to the Labor Department. As a result, consumer spending has plummeted. But at the end of the summer of 2020, something weird had happened. Consumer spending began to rebound after the initial shock, and by September, it had returned to pre-pandemic levels. Thanks in no small part to the trillions of dollars in aid Congress was showering on the economy and people. Consumers spent record amounts of money on everything from new computers and chairs for home offices to bikes and sporting goods by March 2021. As people sought safer ways to get around and entertain themselves. Since then, consumer demand has only increased. While this is typically beneficial to businesses and the U.S. economy, most product supply chains have been unable to keep up, or even catch up. 2. Employees who have suddenly disappeared Despite rising consumer demand in the United States and elsewhere, low vaccination rates at critical points in the global supply chain are causing major production delays. Only about one-third of the world's population has been fully immunized against COVID-19, and more than 98% of those who have been vaccinated live in wealthier countries. Low vaccination rates in key manufacturing hubs such as Vietnam, Malaysia, India, and Mexico have resulted in production delays and capacity reductions. For example, in the garment and footwear industries, Vietnam is the second largest supplier of shoes and clothing to the United States, trailing only China. 3. A scarcity of shipping containers Empty containers are stacking up in the wrong places as a result of Americans' insatiable desire for more stuff. Global supply lines rely heavily on large steel shipping containers. In 2020, the United States will import goods worth more than $1 trillion from Asian countries. The majority of these consumer goods arrive in the United States through container ships. A single container can accommodate 400 flat-screen TVs or 2,400 cartons of footwear, to give you an idea of the enormity. However, many of the containers being shipped to the United States have no method of returning to Asia. The causes include a labor shortage, difficult customs requirements, and a slew of other issues. Container prices have increased fourfold in the last year due to the shortage, resulting in higher consumer prices. Failure to vaccinate more people in developing countries more quickly will almost probably disrupt supply chains for months. 4. Ports clogged All of these issues are contributing to another issue. Ships waiting to unload their cargo have become extremely backed up in U.S. ports. A large ship can carry anywhere between 14,000 and 24,000 containers. That means a single ship waiting to dock could hold up to 5.5 million televisions or 33.6 million pairs of shoes. Over 60 container ships are currently anchored in the ocean off the coasts of Los Angeles and Long Beach, unable to unload their cargo. Normally, these ships dock and unload their cargo without delay. However, the high demand for imports, combined with a shortage of truckers, containers, and other equipment, has resulted in significant delays. While I don't expect most of these issues to be resolved until the pandemic is over, a few things, such as a shift in consumer spending from goods to services and increased global vaccination rates, could alleviate some of the pressure. However, the harsh reality is that American consumers can expect empty shelves, delays, and other issues well into 2022.